Hello Zat, this is Fexbots' bot setup tutorial video and today I will be showing you how to set up your Fexbot correctly. So let's get started. Alright, so step one, you want to go into any chat box and you want to right click inside the chat and then click on settings. Drag your arrow to the left until it says none. Click OK, close and now you refresh your page. Now, when you refresh your page, you will get this pop-up box. You want to click on Allow. Now, you want to type Register. Click on Register and follow the on-screen instructions. And I'll see you when you finish with that. Okay, once you've successfully registered your bot's account, you want to come back here to zat.com slash vexbots. What you want to do is you want to type Check Command in Main, and the bot will PM you this message. Read the entire message, and once you have done so, click on the bot, click transfer, enter the message new in brackets, make sure the brackets are there, type your password, then you could either give the bot 1000 zats, or you can give the bot 27 days, but for this I will be giving it 1000 zats, and you click transfer, submit, then the bot will PC you this link. You will click the link and then we will go on to step three. Okay, once you have clicked the links at the bot PC view, you will be sent to a link like this. So, step one, username. This is the username that you will log into on fexbots.com. Make it whatever you please. Your password, any password that you will remember. Retype your password. Your ZAT ID. You can get your ZAT ID from clicking on your name. And then copy and pasting this ID right next to your registered name on Zat. Paste it here. Room name or ID. This is the room that your bot will go to. You can change this anytime later on. But we're just going to put X dog. Email. This is the email that your account will be under. So if you lose your password, you can recover it. Then a referrer. This is optional. You don't have to do it and then click create my effects bot and we will go on to step four okay and now on to step four now you will log into fexbots.com then you will be taken to the panel after you've been taken to the panel scroll down you choose whatever chat room you want right here down in the general bot settings so we will choose xdog display name that will be the name that your bot uses inside of the chat stealth if you check this to be on what it does is if you make your bot an owner, the bot will use a money sign in front of its name, making it stealth. So what it will do is instead of having an orange pawn, it will have a green pawn so it looks like a guest. Avatar, this is just a default. You can change it to be whatever. For status, status glow, name glow, name color, and hat, you will need the powers on the bot's account with days. But if you do have status power, you put whatever status you want. You can choose whatever color you want with the help of this. Then same goes for name glow, name color, and hat. Homepage, if you want your bot to have a homepage, you will type whatever you want your homepage to be right here. Default pool, if you have a rank pool and you want to put the bot in band pool for some reason, you will put this on too. There's a guide right here off to the right. Auto start, basically what this is is if you have this turned on like this, the system will check every certain amount of time to see if your bot is online. If it's not, sometimes due to that, it will turn back on automatically. Choose whatever you want, and then after you're done messing with these settings, click submit, and we will go on to step five. Okay, now on to step five, part one, because there's two parts to this step. For part one, you will be here in the effects bot panel again, but except this time, you will be to the right here on the login to that account. You will put the Zat account username of the bot account, the account that your bot will be logging into, which you created before. Then you will put the password for that bot's account. Then you will hit submit with don't worry about this pin yet. And then you should get an error code like this. And then I will show you what to do in part two. Once you've gotten that security check error, you want to come to the email associated with the bot. Check your inbox. It might be in the spam. Doubtful, but you should check anyways. You should get a message look 
like this that looks pretty similar, if not the same, from info at zap.com. And to open up that message, scroll down, and you will see this link right here. You want to copy and paste this number at the very end after pin equals. So control C or right click and copy. Come over here back to the Fexbots panel on the right side. Your Zat account username, your password to the bot's account. Then you want to put that pin right here. And then click submit. And you should get a Zat account information updated if you did this correctly. And then I will see you in the next step. Okay, once you have logged your bot into the Zat account, you want to come to the chat that your bot is going to be at. Type bot. Please remember that you do need the bot power for this to work. Then, once you've typed bot, you want to click on the smiley. Click assign. Then you should get this pop up. Click OK. And then we'll continue on to the next step. OK, once you have successfully assigned your bot power, you want to come down here to edit your chat. It's above the sign out button. Click that. Click on the top right button up here, Extra Features, and it will take you to this page, but please remember that you do have to be main owner to come here. Then you want to scroll all the way down to these list of powers, find bot. If it's not already, check mark this box next to bot. Click on Edit. Right here you want to put the ID that your bot is going to be using. Click OK. Update these options. Let the page load till you can see the preview, and I will see you in the next step. All right, now that you have successfully configured your bot settings on your chat, you want to come back to fexbots.com, log in. Once you have logged in, you want to come here to the panel. Once you're in the panel, you want to check down here in this bottom right box that under login to Zat account is green. That shows that the bot has successfully logged into the account. After that has been checked, you want to click on Start Fex. Then you will let the page load for a little bit. If the bot has been started successfully, you will get a message like this. Just click X. You then want to come back to your chat. The Fexbot should be here. And that's it.